my mama went to go see Phil and because he works at a, a place <laughs> he gets like promotional stuff I guess for like games or comic books and whatever movies <laughs> he gave me a poster right here for the Sianic movie of course it also came with I don't know what the third this is but I saw it online it's this weird blue stuff I think it's like slime or some junk. I'm like, what could that? It's just weird. It's like from those cheesy commercials back in the 90s. The Floam or whatever it's called. I don't know if you've seen those. And then it also came with, you got this blue ball. It should like, there you go. It's like a police siren, I guess. I don't know if it just turns off or if you gotta do it again. I think it probably just turns off. But if you've seen the movie, uh, there's a scene where Sonic goes to the rubber band museum or Sergeant Third and he has a, I don't know what you call this. <laughs> But this little thing with the ball, it's weird. So Phil got that. And then some places also had like a beanie and it said Sanic the Hedgehog on there. <laughs> All right, let's continue. That is cheesy. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I think because we went to go see the movie like a few days, you know, after it came out, I think it came out on a Friday on Valentine's Day. And we went to go see the movie on a Tuesday, like the Tuesday, you know, after. Because there was like four doll hair tickets. A steal of a deal, of course. And maybe they weren't giving stuff out. I don't know if the theater was giving stuff, like posters or something. For a release, maybe. I don't know. I know for games, if you're there on release day, sometimes they have, you know, like posters and whatever. That's how I got all that, like, Crash Bandicoot stuff. Which was really cool. I got like a giant beach ball, like a giant poster, I got like a cardboard cutout. I was like, oh, this is awesome. I made a video on it back like two years ago. That's crazy, it's been that long. Oh no. Don't be like me. Don't you be like. Come here. Stop it, stop it. Do it. Oh my lord. <laughs> Just stop shooting. <laughs> hey man, you're trying to beat like me. There we go. Um, but yeah, you said you're playing Fortnite. Fun fact, in the movie, the Sanic movie, he actually, <laughs> he does the dance and the floss. Which I guess, you know, got popular because of Fortnite. I was like, oh my lord, why did they do that? It was just kind of out of nowhere. The random two. In the trailer, he does a different dance. So they must have like changed it last minute too. You know? You gotta make them kitties, you know. Get them excited or something, I don't know. Get them talking, you know, like, hey yeah, Sonic the this, you should go see the movie. That's my guess. <laughs> like I said, it was weird. It was a weird kind of seeing it. <laughs> Don't boot like me. Oh my god. No. Oh, how did I jump over that? Careful now. Use one more. I don't know how that fire follows you. That's like a magical fire. <laughs> and your signature dance. What are these things? Oh my god, these bouncy things. Jesus, that's bootleg. This thing is bootleg. This weapon is bootleg. This is pure bootleg. But yeah, what would have been awesome? I don't know what he's doing now. Danny Antonucci, uh, the creator of Ed and Eddie. I don't know, you know, I don't know if I can spend fifty doll hairs on a custom-made, um, you know, commission. But the creator of Ed and Eddie, like, if he was there, like, I don't know, I might have to. <laughs> You know what I mean? I just wish they weren't so expensive. But yeah. Cause like Ed and Eddie's probably one of my favorite shows. You wouldn't? Yeah, it's I don't know, it's 
It's like one of a kind too. It is expensive though. It's cool, like I said, it's cool that you can do that, but it is expensive. Oh, that's the final boss, I knew it! Because we got a little cutscene. See, that cutscene looks a lot better than what they showed in the intro. As long as I have this final weapon, I can conquer the world anytime! See you again, Sonic! We beat the game, ladies and turds. That was a weird one. You know. Um. Yeah, this was a weird one. <laughs> Sonic 3D Blast? I like how it looked. You know, it kind of reminded me of like clay. Or seeing, you know, kind of like figurines. If you've played Grunts on the computer, it reminds me of that. Or I guess the new Link's Awakening remake. On the Switch. Kind of, you know. Or Pikmin, you know, Pikmin 3. It had that, you know, kind of clay looking, like, style a little bit. And I guess they bamboozled you to get, you know, the game to look 3D. You know, they made Sonic's sprite turn around in 3D and the world and the, you know, the view all, like, weird. I wonder, I'll have to do some research. I don't know if this came out before or after Donkey Kong Country. I think Donkey Kong Country might have been a launch title, but I could be wrong. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they saw, you know, Donkey Kong Country and then they, uh, what do you call it? Then they release this, you know, just to like try to have their own 3D game. But I think, if I remember correctly from my Crash Bandicoot review, I think Crash Bandicoot came out uh, and then Mario 64 came out around the same time or showed around the same time. And then this was Sega's, uh, you know, on the Sega Saturn. I think they had this when Nintendo and PlayStation had Crash and uh, Mario 64. That was the bad ending though right there. Bootleg. We missed three emeralds. That was a short uh, credits too. You see this intro, this is what I'm talking about. It looks really weird, like really compressed. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The game was okay, the controls were bootleg, like Sonic slides around a lot, like as if he's on ice all the time. Um, my thumbs, like my wrist kind of hurt <laughs> having to, you know, use the d-pad all the time like that, like turn around and just jump. That hasn't happened when we were playing the other Sonic games. It's just this one I think with all the like, the way it looks. Um, it was bootleg though, that you get hit once and you lose all your rings. It was also bootleg that if you have, no matter how many rings you have, if you go see Tails or Knuckles, they're going to take your rings away. So if you don't have 50, you know, they take it away. If you do have 50, you can do the mini game and get a Chaos Emerald, you know. Or if you have like over 50, they'll take everything away too. So it's just bootleg. Those Chaos Emerald mini games were kind of fun. I didn't mind them. I think they were a lot easier than, you know, the ones in the normal Sonic games. Uh, I like how colorful everything looks though. That was kind of, you know, nice. It was a swell surprise. The boss battles were fun. They were a little tricky though. And yeah, it was just kind of weird. Um, I think the hardest part was trying to figure out where Sonic is on the map. Like if he can jump to a certain spot or if he can, you know, if he's about to get hit by an enemy or like spikes. I think that was the, the thing that was bootleg the most. Plus all the platforming, you know, like falling off, uh, I don't know, a random platform. Trying to platform with this game was weird. Yeah, that move was kind of strange. That was the only like new power, it seemed, Sonic had. Plus all the special, you know, like abilities, like the shields and whatever. Um, collecting flickies, I didn't mind, you know, kill the enemy, whatever, find them. But this, they make this look so easy. That was really hard to do. And yeah, aside from that, I think that's it. I like the music. See, something like this. Try to do that platform and not fall off. <laughs> Bootleg. A little heart. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Sonic 3D Blast. You know, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Mm, thank you for watching. I think that's the last uh, Sonic game on the Genesis. There's the pinball game too, but I don't want to play the pinball game. I think that's the one that last one on the Genesis. 
I'll be here. Thanks for stopping by, having a lovely chat. I think that's it. That was Sonic 3D Blast. I hope everyone had fun. Uh, see you next time, of course. Doodles! Adios.